Right, Paul Cowage, we're back for another edition of Thyroid Thursday. And today I want to talk about the stall. And so what happens many times to people who are taking thyroid medication and they start working with a functional medicine practitioner or they start changing their diet or lifestyle, they, they start to do better, their symptoms start to improve, they start losing weight, their measurements improve, and all of a sudden they hit a, a, a point where either their symptoms start to get a little bit worse or they plateau and they don't get better, or they might actually get a little bit more hyperthyroid type symptomatology. So I call that the stall. I want to talk to you a little bit about it today. And I also want to give you, review two cases, two examples of two different, two patients that both kind of went through this process, but had two different experiences. All right. So patient A is on 150 micrograms of T4, TSH is 0.8, free T4 is 1.05, free T3 is 2.4, and a reverse T3 is 26.3 when I first meet her on the first blood work. Um, patient B is on 125 micrograms of T4. Her TSH is 1.4. Free T3 is 1.3. Free or free T4 is 1.3. Free T3 is 2.6. Reverse T3 is 2.4. Keep in mind, I don't just run these panels. I just pulled a couple of those out just to kind of give you an example of what's going on here. Not the whole panel, I don't have enough room. Um, so when we get these measurements and we start looking at the rest of the health history, the rest of the health timeline, we look at the rest of the labs, both these people have markers of malabsorption, they have GI signs and symptoms. We know they've got some problems by being, taking a look at the labs. We also did a GI test to kind of see what's going on in there. And so we started both of these people on an anti-inflammatory diet, and then we started giving some GI support products to start addressing what we saw on the, on the GI test. And so after, I think this is about, maybe about six, about somewhere between, somewhere around six weeks into the process, um, both of these people started having some things that made us need to take a look at the thyroid panel. This person was having the stall where she was getting, she had her, her weight that had been declining nicely start plateaued and then started to creep up a little bit. And she started to have more hypothyroid symptoms again. Patient A, she was really feeling, her weight was still okay, but she was starting to get more hyperthyroid symptoms, brain fog, anxiousness, anxiety, real, a lot more disrupted sleep. But her, a lot of her GI stuff was really good and the other symptoms pretty good. So we did a follow-up panel full thyroid panel, we did um, a lipid panel on both of these people to see what was going on. And so when we see patient B's blood work, her TSH dropped to 0 0.87, her free T4 was up to 1.65, her free T3 dropped to 2.3, and her reverse T3 was up to 31. So what happened here? This is not long after we started working on the gut, and so one of the things that likely happened here is she's on 125 micrograms of T4. As she was, as we're working on her gut, she's absorbing that T4 medication better. Typically, you absorb about 70% of the of the T4 medication if you have good, healthy function. But if you have gut issues, if you have dysbiosis in the in the GI tract, you're probably not absorbing. So she was probably not absorbing all 125 micrograms. And so as we started working on her gut, she started absorbing more of that. So her she, her TSH or hypothalamus was getting saturated with T4 and that was dropping her TSH. The drop in TSH was also having an impact on the production and conversion of T4 to T3 and the production of T3 to gland. Her T4 and free T4 were elevated. Why? Because she was absorbing more into the system, but as soon as her brain was getting saturated, that was resulting in that kind of reduced T3 production. Her reverse T3 was up. She's still got immune, she's got, still got inflammatory issues going on, but she's also getting that signal that, hey, I'm flooded with T T4. And so she needs to have her dose reduced and we'll start to see her again, start to have that improvement of her weight and stuff. So this is step one for her to wind up reducing the amount of thyroid hormone she needs to function better. In patient A, same thing, we re-ran her blood panel and so her blood panel, her TSH went from, went from 0 0.8 to 0 0.323. So lab low at this point. Her, T, her free T4 
went from 1.05 to 1.89, that's lab high. And then her T3 plummeted to 1.5. Now, I thought she'd be more tired, more fatigued when I looked at that, but it was actually the opposite symptoms. And I'll explain why in a second. And then her reverse T3 jumped up to 38. It's because she's just taking way too much thyroid hormone. And she was probably taking, based on her body weight, she should probably have only been taking about 88 micrograms. But because of all the gut issues, she was on almost twice the dose that would be prescribed based on her, on her body weight. So why is her TSH uh, so low? She's, she's got so much T4 coming into the system. That's gonna upregulate the sympathetic nervous system. It's gonna cause more fight or flight response. Uh, and that was probably the result of why she was having more sleep disturbance, more anxiousness and anxiety. So she too is having that thyroid medication dose reduced. And I think she had already um, started cutting back on the dose because she was already just innately thinking that she had some, what she was experiencing was more hyperthyroid. So I think she had been cutting back on the dose already on her own. But with, her, with each of these physician, patients, we're sending them back to the prescribing doctor, have those dosages cut back down. And in about 30 to 40 days, we'll recheck those doses and make sure that they're appropriate based on a full panel, probably look at a cholesterol panel along as well. And um, we'll continue to work on the gut and the rest of the physiology. And more than likely, as it happens with a lot of my clients, they're gonna probably have to go through that reduction in medication again, as they're continuing to heal and repair, but be aware of the stall. So as you start working on stuff, if you're a patient and you're working with a physician and you start feeling and functioning better, if your weight's improving, your signs and symptoms are improving and all of a sudden you plateau and you're on thyroid medication, ask to have your thyroid panel rerun, you, you might have to reduce the dosing. If you're the person, if you're the physician, and you're working with that client and all of a sudden they kind of plateau and they're not, getting, they're not seeming to improve, you probably want to rerun the thyroid panel, maybe a tissue pat, run maybe a lipid panel with it so you can see the tissue fat, uh, component uh, to see how that's working, but you might, they might be in that stall pattern where they're being over medicated, okay? Now, keep in mind, last point here is when you're overloaded with thyroid hormone medication, some people have more hypothyroid signs and symptoms. Some people have more hyperthyroid signs and symptoms. It can be very individualized. If it's gonna be more hyperthyroid signs and symptoms, a lot of more brain fog, a lot more agitation, irritability, sleep disturbance. If it's gonna be more hypothyroid symptoms, weight's gonna plateau, maybe start gaining weight again, maybe feel more tired, more sluggish. And so those are gonna be more of the hypo, but it could be a combination of both as well. Brain can get upregulated, have more of those things and still see stuff in the periphery. But just keep an eye out when everything starts to plateau or stall or symptoms start to get worse all of a sudden, time to recheck your thyroid panel and see if your dose needs to be reduced, okay? If you have any questions, put them below wherever you watch uh, this video and I'll try to get those questions answered. If you have more questions about what I do and my thought process about thyroid physiology, always uh, remember you can order and pick up the, the thyroid debacle, the book I wrote with Dr. Kelly Halderman. It's available at Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and we'll be having a, a practitioner and a patient education course coming out soon. All right, take care, have a great day.